On last week's episode, we shared our hearts with you and our dreams of wanting to buy a boat and travel. We made the first offer on our boat buying journey only to be devastated when the deal fell apart. We're never going to take that. Okay. I've texted them. They have read receipts on, so I know they saw my saw it, but she has not called me back, so. So after the deal fell through, I decided to take to Facebook and post in the catamaran group that Emily and I would be looking to purchase in the next couple of months. We decided to continue with our plans of getting the house ready to sell in hopes that the perfect boat would come on the market in the meantime. the house so we're uh, just doing some touch-up paint changing out some doorknobs and getting it ready for the market the last piece of the puzzle before actually purchasing the boat so we are uh, that much actually that much closer to our dreams I am like nervous almost like sick to my stomach this is like a great house for us. We've had plenty of space. We're giving up our space. I guess that's the biggest thing. Well, we don't have to. You can delete your post on Facebook. If we do that, then we're not gonna go. We're not gonna have the. Oh. Then why are you complaining? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that I'm nervous. I think rightfully so. We're about to. Are you afraid you can't live in a small space? We're selling this house with the expectation that we're going to be able to find the boat that we want. Yeah, I think that's what makes me the most overwhelmed and nervous is the fact that if we don't... I know the house will sell, but if we don't get the boat, then why did we sell the house? That's the scariest thing for me. Today is a really big day. It is our open house. We're just minutes away from it. That's right. We're expecting a bunch of people to walk through the house today and hopefully have it under contract. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling really good about it. We've put a lot of work into it. Um, up Leading up into this point, I've, I've been very nervous about listing the house. And uh, now I, I feel good. I'm excited for the people that we're about to meet and hopefully uh, the next homeowner will be walking through the door here shortly. Yeah, our dreams depend on the sale of this home and top dollar, so we're feeling good. Not necessarily top dollar, but we are excited about getting top dollar, obviously. We actually <laughs> just um, found out this past week that the comps show that we can list this house for $50,000 more than what I was originally planning to do, so I'm super excited about that, obviously. Pretty wild. We are just minutes away from the start of the open house. The businessman Hello. himself. We're playing hostess with the mostess. Cookies in the oven, yeah. Candle burning. Open house went so well so we decided to have another one the next day on Sunday and we were really hoping to have a signed contract by the end of the weekend. We were selling our house in the heat of the market yeah. um, so we were just certain going into it that within 48 hours we would have a signed contract. So we were very disappointed once the weekend ended and that didn't happen and really it just seemed like there were you know, there were a lot of people who came through our home, but it seemed like there were more lookers than the serious buyers. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I was expecting that we would get into a bidding war on this house mm -hmm. and um, that didn't happen. And one of the reasons why I don't think that happened was because we were actually 
we delayed the listing or mm-hmm. going to the market two weeks. Um, mm-hmm. And in that two weeks, the feds had raised the interest rates. Um, the Ukraine war had started mm-hmm. and it was the end of the first quarter. Had we have listed the house two weeks earlier, I think we would have gotten a lot more action right you know, off the bat, yeah. uh, but we were super lucky. All right, so just got back from Walmart. I'm stopping here at the coffee shop where Emily's with her family. I'm gonna tell her that we just received a full asking price offer on the house. Hello, hello. Hi. Are you recording this? I am. So I just got off a phone call. (gasps) You got an offer? Full asking price. Oh, wow. Woohoo! In time for the party! Girl. They want to sign a contract today. Oh my god. Can you believe that? How about that? That's awesome. <laughs> I had to share. That is awesome. This was such an answered prayer. We got a full price offer on our house the day our families got into town. We closed out the weekend reviewing documents to make it official. So after we had the signed contract on the house, we definitely went into the following week breathing a sigh of relief knowing, okay, that part's taken care of, but we were a little worried because there was not a single boat on the market that we were interested in. And actually the new owners who were purchasing the house were trying to sell another house of theirs. uh, And so they asked for a delayed closing. So right away, I was like, absolutely, that works out perfect for us. We can delay the closing, the house is under contract. We've got a a great, uh, deposit down on the contract so no worries there it felt really good felt really good about it yeah. and figured that that would allow us some more time to find this perfect boat hey babe I'm at the brave spring training game what's up hey so I just got phone with a guy that's got a leopard 44 it sounds like the perfect boat for us but no way it's in, it's in Texas so we've got to go to see it oh my goodness I just got home from working the Braves game and I wanted to share something that's been on my mind, an interaction that happened uh, today during the game. So today I was approached by a woman who was saying that um, her friend's son wanted to meet the Braves mascot. He's four years old, really wanted to meet Blooper and and see him in person. And then she quickly shared that um, his dad has terminal cancer and they're just trying to create memories as many as they can um, before this man passes away of cancer. And so um, we rallied the team and got uh, Blooper the mascot to sign a baseball and give to this little kid. And it was just the sweetest moment I've experienced all season. And when I heard this story, I immediately just thought like, this is why we're doing this. Life is just so short. Um, this little boy's four years old and so cute and was just having the time of his life with his dad, but he isn't going to get to make many more memories like that with his dad. So, you know, that's also a large part of, of why we're doing this. Uh, we feel that we're just going to live now not plan for one day, do all these things that you want to do one day. God created us to live now, like enjoy every single day because, um, you know, if anything, the last couple years and experiences that have taught us anything, it's just that life is, is so short and so fragile. Remember how I mentioned posting on Facebook about the search for our catamaran? If there's anything I've learned through this boat buying process, it's how valuable Facebook really is. Just a few days after our house went under contract and over a month after making that post, I got this message. So we're like super excited about this boat because it was our absolute dream boat. I even called it the unicorn boat because it literally checked off every box. The boat we're really looking for after all of the research that I've done 
I really think the boat we're looking for is a 2012 to 2014 44 lever. Yeah. Owner's Beautiful. version. This was also a private sell, which is really huge because we didn't want to work with a broker. We wanted to be able to save that cost a little bit. Yeah, I felt like I had done enough research on my own and understood the whole boat buying process um, to where I didn't necessarily need to work with a broker. Wow, that all sounds really good. That sounds like the perfect boat we're looking for. Uh, if it is what you say it is, I, I'm willing to write up a contract tonight and send it to you. Okay, well, I'll have to talk with the wife, find out when we can get over. Um, we've got plans this weekend, so it'll probably be the following week before we could ever get to Texas to look at it. You sure? Okay. All right, then we'll, uh, we'll plan on being there in two weeks, and uh, we'll be ready to sign a contract then. Two weeks later, and we were on a flight to Houston, Texas. Growing restless in the wind Searching for a brighter day Babe, it's a big weekend for us. It's a big weekend. We're going to Houston. Specifically going to Seabrook, Texas. Yep. We're looking at possibly our boat. Yeah. We, we could we could meet our home tomorrow. That's right, our new home. And uh, this boat is very promising. We're very excited about it. It's what I call the unicorn boat because there's not many of this version made. And it's actually something that this exact boat is what we've been talking about for over a year now. Yeah. A Leopard 44, right. owner's version. Owner's version. We are heading to Texas to check it out. Yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Fingers crossed and say a little prayer. Say a little prayer. <laughs> Leaving yesterday behind. Oh, oh. Looking forward into the light. I find we just landed in Houston. Going to pick up our rental car now and headed to Seabrook where we're staying for the night. That's also where the boat is located. So super excited. It's becoming all the more real that we are here and boat shopping. It's happening. Do we do another pass? Babe, say something. I'm kind of in awe. <laughs> so we just got to Seabrook and we're doing a little recon. Um, to see where we're going in the morning. Yeah, and to kind of see if we could get a sneak peek at the boat. And on the front of the boat. Well, the owner's there working on it right now. Right, yeah. Trying to so, get it ready to show to us. <laughs> So we drove by pretty quick. We didn't want to stop too slow because we're the only one driving through the parking lot at 11.30 at night. Babe, what did it say on the front of the boat? He printed Adventure Cruise in a decal and put it <laughs> on the front of the boat. <laughs> oh, what a salesman. Goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I want to go back so bad and see it one more time. <laughs> They're totally working on it tonight. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Trying to get it ready. Yep. To show. early the next morning and had a nice breakfast at Sugar Mountain. If you're ever in this area, their breakfast burritos are the bomb. We were feeling so anxious and excited for the day ahead. Hey babe. Hey. Let's go meet our home on water. The 44 Leopard Unicorn owner's version. <laughs> so explain why you call this the unicorn boat. Well, it's a unicorn to us, like, because it, it meets the things that we want. Well, but I call it a unicorn boat because there's very few 44 Leopards that, that are an owner's versions out there. The, owner, the 44 Leopard was typically made for the moorings as a charter boat, which means it has four cabins, four heads, and we're looking for a three cabin, three head owner's version. 
which is very, very rare. I haven't seen one on the market in over a year. And actually, this one's not even on the market. Right. You can well, see it from here, through the trees a little bit. <laughs> Adventure Cruise. <laughs> oh my gosh, the name's on it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Would you just look at it? Oh, I can't see the name now. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> oh. All right, come on. We were so overwhelmed. This boat was everything we expected it to be. And it was exactly like the owner had mentioned. The first thing that comes to my mind is how could this be so easy? We were on such a high the first part of the day, but by the end of the day, it literally all came just crashing down because we left Texas with nothing but a verbal handshake agreement, which as we all know, really means nothing. Uh, we were upset. We had flown all the way to Texas. We had bought these tickets, you know, obviously the expenses of getting there, the round trip, and we had had for weeks in our mind that this boat was going to be our boat, our new home. And at the time it really felt like things were just falling through. And again, another situation of where it felt just too yeah. good to be true. And and the owner knew we were coming out there to, to ink the paper. Right? Yeah. I had a contract on the computer already set up. I told him like, hey, if this boat's exactly what you say it is, we're coming there to sign a contract with you. And while we did work out a price and we did shake on the purchase of the boat, like you said, it means it's 2022 like. <laughs> doesn't really mean anything. Someone, Someone else could come in the next day and buy the boat, and then especially fine. in this market, like yeah. there are boats that are going on the on the market that are a bidding war. So that was the last thing I wanted to get involved in was a bidding war, and this was really upsetting. <sighs> yeah, so it's been a rough day, rough kind of week actually. Mm -hmm. um, After such. Uh what started as a high of a weekend. Yeah, it was such a high of a weekend. We were super pumped. And here it is Thursday night. And the deal on the 2016 44 Leopard owner's version has or appears to have fallen through. This is so stressful. Could this be another deal that's just too good to be true? Find out in our next video.